right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can analyze multiple products or multiple ASINs in Listing Analyzer. Now, here's the first thing that's important. Under what circumstances would you want to do this? Well, let's say you uh, are about to get into a niche or maybe you're doing product research and you want to kind of see the lay of the land. You know, who are the top products? And once you've identified them, how is their listing optimization? How is their keyword strategy? Uh, what kind of revenue is being generated? You can do that right here. Or maybe you are already uh, you already have a product uh, in a certain niche and you want to kind of compare your product with other products to see how you stack up. In either of those situations, this is a great tool to use. So let's go ahead and hop right into it so you can see how exactly it works. So right here, um, I've entered in multiple ASINs. If you guys saw the last video, you probably saw how I could put one ASIN in. In that same screen, I would just put copy and paste multiple ASINs, and then go ahead and click it so that it shows me all of these ASINs together. Now here in this situation, I just added about six or seven right here. Now, uh, again, if you have a platinum plan, you might not see all of this data here, but if you have diamond and uh, above, you're definitely gonna see it. Now, one thing here, you see this little uh, least opportunity and most opportunity, and you see it, uh, there's different shades of green here. All right, so for example, there is a dark shade of green right here and that's because th this product is, is kind of a a little bit um a little bit newer right compared to these others like this is a light shade of green because it's 50 months old so it's kind of harder to knock off products that have been on Amazon for years but you you have a little bit more opportunity when you're going up against a whole bunch of sellers that are fairly new like less than a year on Amazon it's the same thing with with like these uh these keywords like here is a product that only has uh, you know a couple hundred keywords in the top ten, but then again, here's a product um, that has six thousand keywords in the top ten. So you know, not much opportunity to to maybe attack this smarty pants uh, product here. But anyways, as you can see here, you you have a nice layout where it's like, hey, if these are the top sellers in the niche, you know, I might be a little bit worried. Not worried necessarily, but I might be like, wow, listing optimization. They're all like at an eight to 10. So it's not like I have a tons of opportunity to, to have a much better looking listing than them. That doesn't mean that it's impossible to compete, but it's just a little bit harder. Um, I see their ratings are all really high and look at this. They've all got thousands and thousands of reviews. Um, I can see the, the general price here, how the sales make, my goodness, look how much sales some of these products are, are making here. And then I can see how three are actually shipped and sold by Amazon. Um, this one, you know, it's only, uh, was only FBM. So that was kind of interesting. And then the other two are, are FBA. And then I can see what their keyword strategy is a little bit. And I can see who's really dominating and this, this smarty pants is just absolutely killing the game with their keywords as is this Ollie product right here. All right. Now here, uh, since I entered in multiple ASINs, this part shows up a little bit differently. I, I could just look up, uh, one single product here, but by default, it's showing me all of them at once. And so it's saying that, Hey, out of all these products up here, there's four that uh, don't have symbols or emojis in the title, but there's actually two that do. All right, here, every single ASIN has six or has five bullet points, all six of them. So that's kind of like, um, you know, shows that they're, they're pretty sophisticated with their listing optimization. Um, there's no, there's no, uh, aspect here that these ASINs are really failing on. Maybe the 150 characters in each bullet point, only three of them have it. Here you can see their images are all on point. You know, almost all of them have the white background image, at least seven images. However, two of them don't have a uh, video. And then the reviews, all of them are over four stars and all have over 20 reviews. So, so they're, they're pretty solid on the review uh, state there. Um, you could see the group average of the sales. This is a little bit different than when you entered in the single ASIN where it's taking a look at other products in that niche. This is just taking in the products that you have that we we uh, entered right here. It's giving me the average price, number of reviews, uh, et cetera. And this is what really tells you that, hey, this is a pretty competitive niche because look at this, there's 22,000 reviews on average. And if I put my mouse over here, I can see the breakdown on the ASINs of, of each of these data points. Uh, this is my favorite part of this page here, guys, the keyword analysis, all right? So the number of keywords where at least two of the ASINs are organically in the top seven pages, there's a total of 15,000 of them, all right? Now, here are the number of keywords where at least two ASINs are in the top 10. That, that's kind of hard to do. 
right? So there's actually 40 of those keywords. Uh, the total shared search volume of these 15,000 keywords is 15 million keywords, all right? Now, this is showing me some of those top keywords right here, and I can go ahead and widen this out here, and I could see um, Ollie growing skin gummies, a sp uh, Spring Valley Biotin is a branded keyword, but I this is actually showing me right here where they're ranking. So I could see like, look at this. Ollie is just kind of like killing the game again with, with their position one on a lot of these and top 10. Uh, but some of these others uh, are either not ranking at all um, or, or they're ranking a little bit lower. But this Ollie, you could see that they are really crushing it in the keywords. And, and depending on which, uh, keywords you're going to see here, you might see a bigger list. And so it really gives you a nice kind of like, just like clear picture as to which are the strong products that are uh, dominating the major keywords. Same thing with here. I can see the full list of keywords in Cerebro if I click this button. So again, we have a lot of information that can give you some great insights into this niche and by analyzing these listings. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you this media comparison thing because this is a great technique that we've been teaching you guys how to use, but in kind of a like a, a cumbersome way because there is no way to do it programmatically before. But now with listing analyzer, you're gonna see that. So make sure to check out the next video so you can see how to use the media comparison tab.